Happy Pride Day, TikTokers! Today is a special day where we celebrate equality and tolerance towards sexual and gender diversity. And even though it's the year 2020, it's clear that we still have a long way to go. We know there are homosexual, trans, bisexual people. But have you ever asked yourself why is it that they're almost never represented in animation? Progress in this area has been slow, but it exists and we're going to show you some examples of LGBTQ plus cartoon characters. Let's see if you know any of them. When we talk about animation, the first name that might come to our mind is Disney, right? The company always followed the norms, so to speak, when making its movies, but also created a lot of villains with feminine-associated characteristics. This is known as queer coding, which means making the public subconsciously associate those characteristics as something comical and or negative. Here are some examples. Captain Hook in Peter Pan is always very well dressed and gesticulates in an extravagant way. In Hercules, the villain Hades was very thin and very dramatic in his tantrums. And in Pocahontas, we have the dramatic gestures of Radcliffe the Governor. All of these characters share characteristics commonly associated with women. This is a very different image in contrast to the heroes of the respective movies, isn't it, TikTokers? In these cases, Disney was not making a real representation and was representing homosexuality as something ridiculous that deserved mockery. We can also see this in Japanese animation, where masculine characters are ridiculed for acting as female characters would supposedly act. And if we're talking about villains, we definitely have to include Ursula, the villain in The Little Mermaid. Her design was inspired by Divine, a famous American drag queen. Over time, Ursula became a symbol for the LGBTQ movement, since the creation of her character was a big step for representing queer people in animation. Now, leaving the villains aside, Disney has had other ambiguous characters in its movies, such as Flower, the skunk in Bambi, and Timon and Pumbaa in The Lion King. And we could interpret that the movie Mulan slightly deals with trans issues when the young protagonist disguises herself as a male warrior. The song Reflection is pretty much an anthem for trans people. Oh, and did you notice that Captain Lee Shang starts falling in love with Mulan even though he believes she's a boy? Another character who has steered a lot of attention is Elsa from Frozen. The song Let It Go, where its lyrics talk about freeing yourself from your fears and being who you really want to be, became a representative song for many LGBTQ activists and feminists. On social media, many speculated that Elsa would be represented as a non-heterosexual character in Frozen 2, but in the end, Disney didn't take that step. There are other examples beyond Disney productions, of course. The Simpsons, one of the world's most famous shows, has also made references to LGBTQ community. In fact, the first kiss between two men in the entire history of American television took place in a Simpsons episode. Also, an episode of the show memorable to this day is when Homer meets John Waters, a gay character who awakens Homer's homophobia, although at the end Homer has a change of heart. The Simpsons has also shown the gay couple Grady and Julio, an episode where Springfield legalized homosexual marriage, Marge's lesbian sister Patty, Anna Smithers, of course, a character who ends up coming out of the closet and declaring his love for Mr. Burns. The episode was interpreted by many as a naturalization of the character and put an end to more homophobic references. Adventure Time also decided to represent LGBTQ people with some of its characters. BMO is considered by many to be gender fluid, and the lesbian relationship between Marceline and Princess Bubblegum was shown explicitly in the final episodes. Also, in the last episodes of Gravity Falls, we found out that the police officers Bulb and Darland are actually a gay couple. Um, are you familiar with the show The Loud House? It has received very good reviews due to the diversity of its characters, giving them a fair and normalized representation. And for a younger audience, in the show Doc McStuffins, we can find a lesbian couple, Edie and Thea. The show Miraculous Ladybug has also done its part to not fall into stereotypes. And in a Steven universe, we witnessed the wedding of Ruby and Sapphire. 
the first LGBTQ plus wedding in the history of animation. This was a turning point in animation and helped more animation studios become more tolerant towards LGBTQ plus characters. As you've seen, TikTokers representing sexual and gender diversity in animation is still getting started. And although many shows have included small references with certain characters, they haven't done it in a natural and normalized way. Fortunately, this has changed in recent years and it's now easier to see real diversity. Also, it seems that Disney is now more interested in representing LGBTQ people in its productions. There is Pixar's recently released short out, and in the show Star vs. the Forces of Evil, we saw Jacqueline with a new significant other, a girl. So, it seems that diversity and the normalization of LGBTQ people is progress in TikTokers. And to end this video, we'd like to send you a message from Tick and Duck. Whoever you are and however you are, you have the right to be respected and loved. Let's fight intolerance with love. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you want to see more Draw My Life videos, subscribe to our channel. See you in the next episode!